Hi, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwine. And I'm Vince Penman. Today, you'll see an awesome chopper that's no gas hog. Environmentally friendly designers have faced a constant battle. How to make green products cool. For example, how do you take the functionality of this and make it look like this? The design team at Ofiro did just that when they developed a fully electric motorcycle with a wide body cruiser look that really turns heads. This stylish two wheelers power is drawn from five 12 volt lithium ion batteries that can push it to a top speed of 75 miles per hour with a range of over 60 miles. Anyone sensitive to noise will like the fact that it's silent, unlike the hawks down at the local motorcycle club. Being electric power does not make the Orfiro unique. In fact, there are electric racing bikes that challenge gas-powered bikes for speed. However, speed was not Orfiro's aim. They wanted to promote green power by making an electric motorcycle that would be comfortable and attractive. Therefore, aesthetics and rider positioning were the key design challenges. We spoke with Nout Van Hummen, one of the designers on the Orfiro team. He explained that traditional motorcycle design leaves the engine exposed. This is preferred by a lot of bikers since they like to see the polished components. However, the five large batteries and electric motor that propel the Orfiro aren't nearly as striking. They have to be hidden from view, not to mention protected from the elements. The first step in the design process was to define the styling through a series of sketches from Janssen Creative Design. Now then used a CAD program to design a complex shell body that would cover the internal powertrain while staying true to the styling laid out in the sketches. Manufacturing the complete shell in one piece was impossible because they would not have been able to install it on the bike. The team decided to section the shell model to form panels. The CAD model for each panel would, in turn, allow separate molds to be designed and made. Now it was able to create smooth transitions between the different panel models that made them easy to assemble while creating a precise fit to prevent water leakage. Along each step of the process, the team also could check for part interferences or problems with moving components. For ride comfort, they positioned the saddle, electronic display, handlebar, and foot supports using an adjustable human form in the model referred to as a digital mannequin. Placing the digital rider in various positions reduced the need for prototyping. These time savings allowed Orfiro to go from idea to market in just 18 months. You can see Creo Parametric in action. It's the same software that Orfiro used to design the motorcycle seen in this episode. Just go to ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric to see for yourself. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes. We'll see you next week for more great design engineering.